Well, we're here at O'Neill's. It's Memorial Day weekend. It's a Saturday morning. It's going to be busy. Ramp right now. It's about 10 after 5, and it's it's just, there's, uh, this is Maximo Park, the ramp, and it's just empty right now. Just empty, but uh, Memorial Day weekend, <laughs> it's going to be packed. Well, off we go to catch some fish. Hooked up live baits. Welcome to another edition of Saltwater Fishing Tampa. My name is Scott. Today we're at the Skyway Bridge. We're at the south side. We're going after mangrove snapper. It's Memorial Day weekend. And I tell you what, it's going to be a busy day, but it's going to be fun. It's going to be exciting. Stay tuned. So it's a little noisy. I know it. I bought a microphone here, a road microphone, and uh, we'll see how it works. But we're underneath the Skyway Bridge, so it echoes a little bit, but that doesn't matter. Fishing is what matters here. So. Anyways, it's a Saturday Memorial Day weekend going after the mangrove snappers again, so we'll see how we do. So I hope everybody enjoys the show. Give me a thumbs up or a like. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you know what we do next. Let's catch some fish. Well, we stopped at uh, Hooked Up Live Baits. Got a whole bunch of lively greenbacks right here. Look at these guys. Oh, look at that. They're just beautiful here. Look at these guys. Man, that's some nice bait. I know there's some scaled sardines in here, but uh, these lively guys, look at that. And uh, you know what I always do? I always put foam off in here. Since my this is a self-contained bait well, I just do a little bit of uh, foam off right there, just like that, and uh, that does the trick. And I got a bunch of uh, thread fin herring here all chopped up, uh, ready for chum. These are the big guys here. They're really big. I was chopping them up this morning right at uh, pre-dawn but there they are right there got these at O'Neill's and I got some uh, Menhaden shad oil so this is uh, this is what I like to do here look at this oh this is some really stinky stuff right here just pour a little bit on here you gotta be careful but this makes a chum slick oh look at that that makes a chum slick you want to be careful with that stuff and I'll put it in the bait bat and um, the tide's still going out, and I'll be tossing it out this way. I'm going to reposition the boat so it goes right out this way right here and, and nail the mangroves right there. Well, I want to go over a, uh, a little bit on my equipment that I'm using. Sarah Goose, the 5,000, 40-pound J braid on here. And this is the Shimano Therese rod, and this is the 20 to 50 medium uh, fast action. And I'm using a... Uh, using half ounce uh, flathead jigs from Bass Pro with 25 pound fluorocarbon and I always put a barrel swivel on it right like this just like that and uh, so 40 pound mainline 25 pound fluorocarbon leader and the reason that I do that is because why I use some people say why are you using a 5000 series reel because <laughs> when you're out here fighting big mangroves and you get gags big sheephead and you're always fighting the dolphin. You want to bring these fish up to the surface fast, and with a rod and reel like this, it does it right here. 
I mean, you can use a 3000 series reel if you want. I used 4000 for a while. Really love the Shimano. Look at that, uh, that egg handle, really nice. Really like these. These are 269 and these Therese rods, they're 279. But you know, you get what you pay for. <laughs> but that's what I like to use right here and it brings the mangroves up fast because there's so many dolphin out here that are harassing you. And uh, when I see the dolphin coming, I just stop fishing. Because I don't want to feed them, otherwise they'll stay around the boat. Then I turn the sonar off too. Uh, once they come around the boat, I listen for them. When, with, you know, when they uh, uh, exhale the air and you hear them like that. And then I look around all the time, always cognitive of where that dolphin is. Because I don't want him taking my fish. If he does, which he, sometimes he does, uh, then I don't want to feed him anymore. I wait till he goes away and I look for him. So then I go back to fishing because I'm not going to move because the dolphin's there. I mean, it's my spot, not his. So anyways, that's why I use the 5000 series reels and, and the little bit heavier rods to get the mangroves in that can handle a gag. The big sheephead that are out here, even the big runs, 14 and a half inches over at the South Skyway Pier. This can handle the cobia, it can handle the, the gags, uh, big mangroves, little mangroves, whatever you want. And, and when you have 40 pound main line and 25 pound leader, you can break this off a lot easier instead of the main line. And it breaks off a lot of times right, right here, right at the jig. So uh, that's one of the reasons that I use the 5000 series. So hope that explains everything. Well, I'm going to start out by loading up my bait bed. I don't want to touch this stuff. <laughs> it's the Menhaden Shad Oil. So uh, the tide's going in that way, and I'm just going to give this stuff a, a flick out there just like that. And that's going to create a slick right there. I, the reason I use these bigger chunks is because they sink down real fast. The tide's hardly moving now. It's still going out. I can, I can watch it just sink slowly down. That's what you want, and I can see a slick right now, an oil slick out there. Excellent. Well, I'm going to start out with a green back here. Let me grab one of these guys. I'm going to hook this guy on here just like this. Just like that. There he is doing the green back dance. So, <laughs> all right, let's see what we can do. Toss it out there just like that. I'm going to close this. And I always like to adjust the drag because I always back the drag off. So let's just see what happens here. Come on. Come on, guys. Go on out there. That got clean. That was fast. Come on. Come on, hungry guys. Take it. Come on, take it, take it, take it. Take it, take it. Take it. Take it. Oh, there you go. That's it. Oh, they're really finicky today, but let's see what this guy is. Feels like a mangrove. Feels like a mangrove. Holy cow, look at that. A tarpon got it. Look at it. <laughs> Look at that. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what this guy is. Whoa. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> Something's got this. Let's see what it is. Oh, there's the tarpon. That's the tarpon. He hit, he took the mangrove that guy did. Whoa. Oh, man, I tell you. Come on, guy. Got to get him out of there. Come on, guy. Don't go in that electric motor. Let me turn it off. Come on. Come on, guy. This is why I like to use the 5000 series because, oh, it broke off. They can really handle it. Yep, broke off. That was the tarpon. That tarpon, he took off. He got my mangrove. I can't believe it. I just got slammed, and look what he did to the greenback. Look at that. Man, he slammed me right there. Finally, I think we got ourselves a nice mangrove here. Finally, 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 finally. <laughs> let's see. Oh, let's get this guy in there. He is. Holy cow. Look at that. <laughs> Look at him. He got off. Oh, my gosh. Nice mangrove, though. Nice mangrove. About time. About time. Whoa. Come on, guy. Come on, guy. Come on. Let's see what we got here. Let's. <laughs> Man, I tell you, it's so rough out. Another rough day today. Let's hopefully this guy won't won't jump in here, but let's just get a measure on him. Oh, looks like oh jeez, <laughs> beautiful looking guy. Nice mangrove snapper, 13 incher. Well, he's going in the cooler. He's gonna go with the grunt. So not a bad start. So uh, tide's gonna change around noon to one o'clock. So 
Well, I got that mangrove right here. It's really ripping in this tide. So uh, I have to toss it out here. And that's a three quarter ounce jig on there. 25 pound fluorocarbon. So, and I know I got slammed the first drop here. So let's just get ready for these guys. Come on. I know they're down there. So many bait fish, pin fish, jacks down here, dolphin, tarpon taking it. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on, take it. Nice man grove right here. Got this guy right down here. Look at him. There he is. Look at that. <laughs> there he is. We'll get this guy in here. Holy cow. Look at that. Man grove number two in five minutes. Oh, he's about 13 and a half inches long. Look at that. Beautiful guy. Nice and orange. Come on, guy. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Hang on, guy. Not bad. Look at that. <laughs> oh, 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 geez. It's hard to hang on to these guys. It's really, really rough out here right now. Look at that. Just a beautiful mangrove. Right there. Got that guy. Right there. So uh, he's a good 13 incher, but uh, we're going to put him in the cooler and get him while we can. <laughs> these guys up here. I'm going to chum them up. I'm right there. I'm just going to toss it right out there, just like that and just let it go down and go down right to there. And um, see it, you can see it in the water right there. Just do a little bit more and get these guys active here. Let's get these guys active. Oh, toss it out there. Oh, that's that's great. Three back dance right there. Let's just toss it right in there. You can see that current, how it's just hitting that, hitting that uh, column right there. I've been getting slammed once it hits bottom right there. Come on. I gotta get this guy up. Here he comes. Come on, guy! <laughs> I tell you, look, see what is it? Oh, it's a nice big mangrove! Holy cow! Oh, I could have lost him, but look at that! What a beautiful guy! Oh, yeah! That's what we call fishing here! Fishing for mangroves! That's a beautiful guy right there! <laughs> That's a nice mangrove! Man, I tell you, I'm just waiting for the tide to change and it's really ripping in here! <laughs> So let's get a measure on this guy. Oh, nice, 13 and a half inches long. Oh yeah, beautiful looking guy. I really admire these guys. Just beautiful color, they're so fast and they can handle this, this current and slam this right with this jig and, and get the uh, green back. That's just amazing. I mean, always just impressed by these guys. Just a beautiful fish, nice mangrove snapper. 13 and a half inches long, beautiful guy. Well, here's a nice 13 and a half inch head growth snapper. Got them right out of here. They're just gorgeous, aren't they? Nice, nice. Not the biggest guy, you know, but just a really good eating. They're so beautiful. I really admire these guys. And I tell you, two more and I have my limit. <laughs> but I'm going to head in. So it's a busy day out here. I don't know if this is another mangrove or not, but let's just see. I hope so. Oh, it's another nice mangrove. Oh, there we go. There we go. Finally pulled the guy out of here. <laughs> I tell you. Another beautiful mangrove. Hang on, guys. Settle down. Look at that. What a beautiful mangrove. Nice color. The tide's just getting ready to change, and uh, that's what you get out of it. Oh, look at that. And there's the dolphin. Look at his shadow right there. He said, hey, how come I didn't get it? <laughs> He's waiting right there. He wanted this guy, but you didn't get it. Look at him. <laughs> There's that dolphin. He said, that was mine. <laughs> Let's see if he comes up. There he is. Hey, Mr. Dolphin. <laughs> you missed out. You don't get him. Look at that. Just a beautiful mangrove. He's waiting. He said, what are you going to do with it? <laughs> that's really something. That's that's a big dolphin. He must be eight feet long. Look at him. He's just waiting around. What are you going to do with it? If I threw this back in, he would get it before it got to the bottom. That's amazing. That, that dolphin right there. <laughs> that dolphin wants this fish. And he's right there. He's just waiting for this guy. He said, what are you going to do with it? Look at him. <laughs> that's what... You know, he's been around here and I've been uh, stopping while he comes around and uh, wait till he goes away. But uh, he heard this thing, uh, this mangrove and uh, he's just waiting around. That's what they do. They just hang out by the boat like that. Look how close he is to the boat. Here's the boat right here and he's right there. Look at that guy. 
Well, anyways, just a beautiful, nice mangrove right here, and uh, I'm not going to toss it over because Mr. Dolphin there, he's going to get it, but uh, he's going in the cooler. He'll be number four. Oh, he's right by the boat now. He's going to come up. There he is. Oh, he's just waiting. No, I'm not going to feed him. Nope. He can wait here for as long as he wants. I'm not putting my uh, pole in. I'm not putting my bait in. And he's just waiting right there. Just waiting. Look at that. Right by the boat. Look at the size of that guy. Yep. There he is. <clears throat> That's why I use the 5000 series. So you can get the... Uh, the man grows up quick because these guys are they'll take it look at him he's going right over there he's gonna go look for other boats now another nice man grove here gotta get him in before the dolphin i didn't have time to turn the camera on holy cow i'm so worried about the dolphin but nice mangrove snapper right i tell you i'm running out of bait and i get number five right here holy cow come on guy settle down beautiful beautiful mangrove snapper holy cow oh i love it <laughs> it's just a waiting game with these guys and uh they were really finicky today few and far between but uh boy i tell you they cooperated Look at, let's measure this guy up uh, beautiful mangrove snapper wow oh very nice 14 inches long that's what we like to see oh look at these he's tensing up but just beautiful. Oh, look at the battle scars on this guy. Probably from down in the rocks down there along the um, the columns there. But nice mangrove snapper. Just gorgeous. Look at this guy. Really admire these guys. Such such hard fighters. He was really pulling on the way up. What a great great eating fish. Great fighting fish. Uh, just overall, just a great game fish here. You're, you're allowed five of them. That's the really neat part about it, you know you guys can get 10 of them you know to keep and you can catch them all day long you can catch them all day long these guys as long as they cooperate but beautiful snapper man i tell you oh, holy cow look at this guy just beautiful i gotta i gotta be careful with him and uh he, he was really active he, that's why they call him snapper so uh just a gorgeous guy 14 inches long just a gorgeous looking guy and uh, the tide just just started to change right now and I got this guy and that's right after I showed you the dolphins and <laughs> they're just hanging around what a beautiful mangrove snap oh, look at that nice 14 inch mangrove that's the biggest one today I'm happy <laughs> but they're you know I really admire these guys such a hard fighting fish even this size you know, that's why I use uh, uh, the 5,000 reels to get them up fast in the rods because these dolphins, they want this guy. They want this. If he didn't get this guy, he didn't get the last one. So, anyways, uh, time to head in. Sunset slow, hey, you know you should stay for the night. What you think when we we'll drink while we sit by the bonfire? Well, we had another great day out on the water. I'm over at Maximo Park. You can hear the music playing. I hit the entrance canal. It's really breezy. It's really busy. Anyways, nice. Five nice mangroves. <laughs> nice big grunt. Had the work for them today, but you know, paid off. 13, 14 inches. Love it. What a beautiful day. That's what you call fishing and having fun right there. Well, we had another beautiful day out on Tampa Bay. <laughs> it was nice today. A little bit of storm and rain and wind, but uh, we got uh, five nice mangroves here. Nice size, 13, 14 inches. Had the work for them, though. Saw the dolphin, uh, had a tarpon, uh, 
uh, break me off. Um, hopefully I got that jump on the video and uh, a dolphin got one of my uh, mangroves and then he was hanging around the boat wanting wanting another one. So, uh, and I wouldn't give it to him. So, well, I hope everybody enjoyed the show. I had a great time on Tampa Bay. You know, I always do. Had a little bit of storm kick up, but uh, had a good time. Got our mangroves and uh, skedaddled in. So anyways, I want to thank everybody for showing up today. Give me a thumbs up for like. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Until next time, this is Scott with Saltwater Fishing Tampa. Happy fishing.